Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how you can make a jigsaw puzzle in Google Jamboard that looks kind of like this one you can see on the screen on the left there, where students can arrange them to look like a picture that's in the top right. This um, puzzle image was made by Patty Jean. I got it off the Facebook group and I just thought to show you what the end product for what we're making today is going to look like and how you can do this on your own and make your own puzzles that fit your students' needs. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the jigsawpuzzles.com and create an account. Uh, once you've done that, uh, we're going to go up here and click on make, on a, make a Puzzle. And then you can choose the file that you want. So I'm going to tell you what I did to get my La Manzana picture file. You can see on the left-hand side of my screen there. I actually went to, uh, I just searched uh, Google for royalty-free images and I went, it, uh, the first one I got found was pexels.com and I went there search for an apple. I found an apple, um, which is the image you can see uh, on the screen there. And I added the word uh, La Manzana to it and I uh, did that in uh, Google Drawings. And then I saved that image and uploaded it to the Google Jamboard, which you guys probably know how to do because you're all pretty advanced users. Uh, from there, what I did is I went back to the jigsawpuzzles.com and I clicked Choose Files. And I found that uh, Manzana file right here. And then I click Make Puzzle. And then right here, you want to choose how many pieces you want your puzzle to be. I just do 20, because that seems like plenty to me. And then click Change. And then once you do that, it will take you to your puzzles and with that puzzle on there. I'm not going to do it again because I don't want two puzzles. Oh, it made it anyway. I think I can delete it later. So it'll come up like this. Here's my 20-piece Monsanto puzzle. So I'm going to click that. And then it'll come up with the puzzle and it'll automatically kind of break it up for you. Now, before you start putting these pieces into the Jamboard, what I suggest you do is actually click this little zoom out button because right now, if I take these images and I put them into the Jamboard, they're gonna to be too big and you won't be able to fit the puzzle in there. So when you zoom out, it makes them smaller. And then that's when you're gonna to wanna to copy them and paste them. So I actually timed myself doing this and it took me about a minute and 20 seconds to copy and paste 20 images over there into the Google Jamboard. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click it, or I'm sorry, right click it, do copy image, and then come over here to the Jamboard, and you can either do uh, right click paste, does that work? Oh, it's not working. So do control V if you're on a PC or a Chrome for paste, I think it's probably the Apple V button on the Mac. So you can see that images come up right there, right? So I just slid these over here to the left, and then do control V in my image over here so I know which ones that I've already used. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. I'll skip forward so you don't have to watch me doing this whole thing so you can see what I have. All right, so I have successfully pasted all of the images into the Jamboard. I'm gonna go ahead and move them around like this. They're already shuffled up from the uh, puzzle, the Jigsaw Puzzles website, but they're probably gonna be even more shuffled now. All right, so that's ready to go. Uh, it should fit. If you want to make sure, obviously, I would run through maybe just do, um, you know, just one of the sides since the this image happens to be taller than it is wide. So maybe I would just do all of the uh, left-hand side here first. I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if it fits. Okay, so obviously the image will fit on here. I could probably didn't have to zoom out that much on the jigsaw puzzles. That's probably something you'll figure out with time uh, how far it is you have to zoom out to make sure your image fits. But that's pretty much it. If you guys want this La Manzana uh, puzzle, I will leave a link to it in the description of my video, so you're welcome to uh, use it uh, with your Spanish class. And uh, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.